hello friends in this video we will look about hepatic circulation how unconjugated bilirubin will be converted into conjugated bilirubin and how the urobilinogen is excreted into uh, outside the body so this is all comes under hepatic circulation in this video i will explain about it so firstly hepatic circulation bilirubin it is an end product of rbc at reticular endothelial system that means when rbc breakdown happens bilirubin is the end product of it okay next thing is hepatocytes convert this bilirubin which is unconjugated into conjugated by mixing it with glucuronic acid look here unconjugated bilirubin is converted into conjugated with the action of glucuronic acid okay and the next coming step is this conjugated bilirubin which is in the hepatocytes will be secreted along with the bile into duodenum okay so this conjugated bilirubin is secreted into duodenum The next step is in small intestine this bilirubin is converted into urobilinogen okay this conjugated bilirubin which is came into the duodenum and next enters into small intestine that is converted as urobilinogen this urobilinogen in the small intestine mixing with the other gut bacteria 80 percent of it is excreted in the feces as stercobilin and two percent of it excreted in urine as urobilin and the other 18 percent again enters into enterohepatic circulation and completes the same circulation again by this we are completed with enterohepatic bilirubin circulation and our next topic is jaundice Okay, uh, jaundice it is the elevated bilirubin levels in the body which is more than 2.5 mg per dl and by this the skin becomes yellowish in color and this yellowish discoloration happens only when the bilirubin levels are more than 2.5 mg per dl. And this topic will be discussed in the next video guys. Stay tuned and do definitely watch the next video for detailed explanation of the jaundice. Please subscribe and support my videos guys. Thank you.